guys, welcome, welcome back to our channel. channel. If it's first time here, welcome. I'm Riham. I'm Shams. And today we're gonna be doing a Q and A. Oh, we asked our Instagram followers, if you're not following us on Instagram or TikTok, I don't know what you're doing with your life. Um, make sure you guys are following us there. Let's just get straight into it. Yeah. Oh, this video is sponsored by. <laughs> Because why are there two holes in this bag? We got a tomato mozzarella panini. We tried oh, this yeah. matcha over on our TikTok, so go ahead and uh, go watch that. We neither of us ever had matcha before in our lives, but you know, we keep seeing matcha this, matcha that. Mm. We said, why not try it? So if you want to see our thoughts on this matcha, go ahead on our TikTok and yeah, whatever. So if you're interested in watching this video and this Q&A and what we have to say, Keep watching. Uh, someone asked, how old are you guys? I'm 22, turning 23 in August. I am also 22. We are born 1999. I'm born May 27th. I'm a Leo, and she's a Gemini. <laughs> <laughs> okay, someone asked, why aren't you consistent YouTubers? First of all, mind your business, okay? <laughs> we'll take what we give you. <laughs> They're so rude. <laughs> um, I wouldn't call us YouTubers. Um, YouTube isn't our life. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, I'm not. No, I am. No. <laughs> Honestly, um, should we prioritize this channel a little bit more than we should? Mm -hmm. Maybe. Yes, mm -hmm. I will give you guys that. Do we post here and there? Do you guys forget about us? Probably. Yeah. A thousand percent. As you should. Yeah. Let's give an explanation to why we're inconsistent. Oh, okay. So, um, in the beginning, obviously, as you guys know, we were students. Um, oh, I don't know if you guys even know that I took a year off of school. Life update. <clears throat> yeah, and um, Shams graduated as everyone and their mother knows. I did, in fact, graduate um, with an honors degree. Um, and I was also on the um, dean's list twice. I don't know if I've ever brought this up on this channel. Cut. Everywhere she goes. Everywhere. She has to sprinkle that she graduated and she was on the Dean's list, not once, but twice. I slaved myself no, for four years. Y'all are gonna hear about my Dean's list, okay? Yeah, until she goes to law school, Lord have Oh, mercy. it's gonna be a problem. That's also another reason why, I don't know, inconsistency. I'm starting to study for my LSAT exams that I'm taking in September. And also, I worked for a large period of time when, uh, of like last year, so it was just scheduling wise, just yeah. didn't make sense and like we, it just, nothing was adding up. But right now I think we're back in the groove of like, you know. I'm surprised you even had the sandwich. Don't you not like tomatoes? I don't. Okay. Um, but yeah, hopefully we're back in the groove. We kind of know what our, our schedules are, stuff like that. Fingers crossed. Inshallah. Speaking of graduation, someone asked, this is towards you, how's life after graduation? <laughs> Next question. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> Actually, okay, no, let me be serious. Let me be serious. It depends on if you like school or not while you're in school. Personally, I love school. School was like my driving force, my driving passion my entire life. It's always been something I enjoyed. So when I graduated, it was kind of like a, hmm, now what? Mm -hmm. What do I do with my life? Um, I knew I wanted to take a year off before I started law school because it was just too much to do four years of school and then right into law school, three years, it's intense. So I'm going to take a year off. I that worked out for you. Let's just say it wasn't my best year. <laughs> One, like you can take a year off and travel and like, you know, do all this fun stuff, but I personally couldn't travel. Because she's a fob. I don't because know if you guys know. Um, I am an immigrant. Yes. So she couldn't travel, she couldn't really do much. I was kind of just stuck. Yeah. And I had no school. I had no job. I had literally nothing to do for a year, which sounds great, but it can take a little bit of a toll on you. If you're going straight from graduating to your job or like straight from graduating to like another like post, post secondary like grad school or something, like I would say, yeah, it's fun after you graduate. But if like you're kind of just like stuck, <laughs> it can be a little D word. <laughs> Here's the question, life is great. 
<laughs> Life is so good after graduating. <laughs> Life really comes at you fast after graduating, I'll say that. I'm the polar opposite of Shems. I personally, like, school can kick rocks. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't care for it. Do I have, like, is it a part of life in a way okay yeah i guess is it do i think it's the most important thing absolutely it depends on what your um career goals are mm -hmm. obviously you want to be a doctor lawyer all that you have to go to school um where was i going with this tangent i don't remember but right. that's my two cents about school right right someone asked oh, this question drake or j cole listen man listen man i'm tired Sorry guys, um, light switch up, our camera, or sorry, not our camera died, our light, light died. died. Um, so yeah, someone asked Drake or J. Cole. Now, oh, this is a hefty debate because in my eyes, I see completely two different artists, two amazing, amazing artists, top tier artists, one of my top five artists actually. So I can't pick and choose and say Drake or J. Cole. Now what I can do is say, oh, you have a lot to say. What I can do is say that who's a better rapper? Cole. Who is a better kind of entertainer? Mm, that's kind of hefty. No, let me not say that. Who? Oh, but he's funny too. Listen to me. Listen to me. Like he's all rounded, which listen is great. Me. So I don't know. I'm out. I'm out. Listen to me. Okay, if you're asking personal preference, I'm saying J. Cole. You're probably saying Drake. I don't know. You gotta pick one. Oh my god, okay. You gotta pick one. Can really pick Cole? No, but Cole is such a good artist. And so is Drake. J. Cole or like Drake? I don't know! Don't put so much pressure on me. Okay, I would choose... Personal preference. You have to get to the, the... The boy. The boy. The boy. That's fine. Everyone has their own pre personal preference. No, but I'm mad because that's, okay. that's like everyone's like... Because he's I a groupie, think... yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> I'm first saying who's a better... Rapper, it is undeniably J. Cole, and that's not to discredit Drake as a rapper. Drake is a really, really obviously, he wouldn't be where he is right now if he's not a great rapper. He's a, he's a phenomenal rapper, but it's still not even close to Jermaine. Now, if the question is who's the better artist, personally, for myself, I still think the answer is J. Cole. Why you ask? Because not only does J. Cole write his own music. Drake has been, uh, it's been a question if he writes his own music sometimes, but he produces it as well. Mm. And for someone like me, who really values production and music, I think that makes him a better artist than Drake, because I value that. For someone who values versatility, for someone who values numbers, for someone who values popularity, <laughs> you're gonna pick Drake. I'm scribble a little shade over there, Shams. I'm just saying, don't be shady to the boy, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. No one can deny the fact that Drake is literally the most versatile rapper or artist or whatever of our generation. No, he this nigga touched him. every genre possible and he excelled at all of them. Uh, a little controversial here. Do you think Sudanese men are high value men? High value? Can you like break that? Like, what is that even like? The term high value men as it is commonly used today, refers to a man of means and influence. So what are the traits? He adds more value than he takes. He is non-needy and non-approval seeking. He has life goals and works towards them. He never chases, he attracts. <laughs> He's assertive, not aggressive. And he is emotionally intelligent. It sounds like the most boring guy I've ever met in my entire life. <clears throat> I think Sudanese men are... Um... I think there are a lot of things. <laughs> Let's start there. Um, there's some. Now, I think they, Not to bash this whole thing of oh, we don't like our own men, Sudanese men are trash. No, I, I love her. I love our men. Yeah. Depends love on her. I love her though. I love her though. I love her though. I love her. I love her. She's love her. so pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it depends on what, where these Sudanese men are located. Are located. That's a huge thing. Super huge thing. I think Sudanese men. <laughs> our culture, like Sudani culture, instills a lot of this high value stuff on our men. Oh, a thousand percent. So it makes it. Sudani men are the biggest, the, like most like chivalrous mm. and like they're such gentlemen. Mm -hmm. And they have like, it's generals and da 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 da, but like they, they know how to be a man 
because it's part of our culture. It's like it's and it's instilled in them. It's how you raise or how you treat a woman. You yeah. pay for them. Not about does. money, but just in general, like they have that old school mindset where yeah. a man is higher than the woman now. So I'm saying that's where it gets a little toxic because some Sudani guys take that and think what you said you said like oh we we're better than you right oh we, we have to do everything for you because you can't do it yourself but again depending on where you are located some guys have those like qualities but they're they've also adjusted them to like it'll be a little more like i can do this for you because i want to not because i need to and not because you need me to yeah you know so, so that even are very tricky you either gonna have one that's kind of like masculinity like the what's that word called um alpha that alpha male but also what is it Ma that word that we always use in psychology or whatever misogynist um, yeah misogynistic right is that mm -hmm. the word mm -hmm. um you're gonna have that like a on a thousand yeah or you're gonna have one that's kind of like calm like you know we just he he understands a little bit more more open like i don't think i've never met one that's like in between you know like it's either that or that in my fact you know it's it's not there's no balance there's no balance guys it. They're either trash or they're the best guy you ever had in your life. Yeah. And There's no one between. At all. At all. At all. That's all I'm gonna have to say with my our Sudani men. And but uh, I will leave it on a positive note. You guys are funny. Um and Sudan are really, really funny. I know? think my, my favorite qualities about Sudan guys is they're funny. Yeah. And they're gentlemen. Generous. But you can say this for any uh, ethnicity of guys. Facts. It's not just Sudani guys. Because honestly, you can I think the question should be: Are any men? Is any man a high value oh man? Because what are you adding to my life other than stress and trauma and uh, tears? <laughs> Quite literally. What are your plans for the summer? Hi! Let me tell you about our plans this summer. All right. Beginning of June, we have our friend's wedding. End of June, we have a Justin Bieber concert. End of July, we have a Chris Brown concert. Let Ah! Yo, this guys. summer and maybe perhaps, perhaps beginning of August, we'll be OFS. OFS. now. We'll see what happens with that. It's depending on the lineup. Are our pockets running dry? Yes. Are you going to be watching these videos and hitting up these ads? Yes. But this summer, guys, I am so excited. Oh my god, this is literally concerts season this is a this is the summer of concerts honestly for sure. back to back to back to back but now <clears throat> if you're wondering why it's such a full circle moment anyhow when we first met back in 2016 one of the first things we bonded over was our love for Keilani that's literally why we became close and like hung out and stuff because I didn't know anyone here that I'll, didn't know anyone that knew Keilani at that point Keilani was on SoundCloud, SoundCloud. Literally. nobody knew Keilani at all but she knew Keilani she knew Keilani. And I said, wait. Wait. So this girl coming from Dubai. Girl in St. Catharines, Ontario knows who Keilani is? This girl from Dubai knows who Keilani is? No, 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 That right there, I'm like, nope. She's my friend. She knows. She has good taste in music. Yep. And here we are. Here we are. Six years later. Six years later. Finally going to see her live. Guys, comment down below what your plans for the summer is. We want to know. You're working. You guys traveling. What do y'all do? What's up? What are you guys up to? Someone asked one of y'all latest thing about getting married. First of all, you're very loud. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking me as if the last we've hit our late twenties. Um, honestly, when the right guy comes along. Literally, I remember. I think everyone and their mom can agree that you thought you had your life planned out by the age of 17 18 yep. look at yourself and laugh. Yeah, because I'm looking at myself right now and I am literally I'm a clown. To really? think that I was gonna be married by the age of what, 22 21. or 21 and have kids? In my ah! It's really funny. If you're honestly like being so dead ass, if you're under the age of 20 right now, even if you're our age, no, if you're under the age of 20, so you're, you know, 16, 17 teenagers, and you have like these plans for your life, that's, honestly, it's great. It's like you don't wanna just be weightless and you don't wanna have like no goals and no aims or whatever. It's really good to set goals for yourself and plans, but just know those plans need to be flexible and they're not gonna go the way that you think they're gonna go a thousand percent. especially things you have no control over a thousand percent. if you have like plans for like school or work or whatever those kind of things you have a little bit more 
control over when and what and how much you, how hard you can work and da 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 but things like oh getting married oh having a kid oh my first man da da da, da do not qu- try and quantify when that can happen because it's literally not up to you it's up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala right and when you make a plan God laughs. It's just wild to look back and kind of think that you thought your life was gonna be yeah. Like life just comes at you like like we said Super fast. fast. You stopped putting a like a I'm gonna be married at this age mm-hmm. or I'm gonna be talking to someone by this time. Like I'm I'm just living my life, my vibe. Whoever comes comes. If they don't come, they don't come. Mm-hmm. I don't. I can't. We can't. Literally, you literally cannot control that. You can't. And also, don't put too much emphasis on like your first. Like let's say you're below twenty, the age of twenty, and you start dating someone. One don't. Don't even waste your time Honestly, don't. talking to people. Well, like, well, he don't. It's, it's not gonna time. be one. I, 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 I. I mean, there are a few people, maybe, where you're young, you got, you guys get married. There are cases like that. Yes. Mm-hmm. Half of the time, I promise you, you're in la la land, and you think you're gonna marry this person, and you think it's gonna be serious, and blah blah blah. blah or wrap it Especially up. Especially if they're also your age. Yeah. If they're also below twenty. I can almost bet my life on it. It's just, it's just vibes. Honestly, live your life. Don't put pressure on anything. It's literally just memories make. with your friends, friends that you think are going to be around for a while. Work hard in school. Get into university. Focus on yourself. Don't. And everything else will come with time. Per. Next question is: Do you guys have boyfriends? Mind, Mind your business. business. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not as. <laughs> Ask me for Q and A. Don't ask questions. <laughs> say mind your business. <laughs> I think this is a good one to end off at. What's next? What is next? What is next? Which one's gonna have? It's a it's a question. It's a loaded question. It's a question. I feel like this summer, it's gonna be a it's gonna be a different summer. It's gonna be lit, popping. Hopefully, um, while she studies, while I work, we're gonna be sprinkling some content for out for you guys consistency um follow us on tiktok i feel like we're gonna be more consistent on tiktok mm-hmm. than we're gonna be posting on youtube mm-hmm. but you know what make sure you guys are following us on tiktok too i hope you guys enjoyed this video this q a it was a nice little update little vibe. if you guys have any more questions for us make sure you guys are following our instagram you can next time we you know post a q a thing you can reply let us know ask us any questions you want to ask us <laughs> like <laughs> Pretty sure oh who my god. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in our next video. Bye. Guys, look, I have a cut. Oh my god, shut up. Look. Yeah, okay. Alright. Again, black women just never, they're never taken seriously. Like, especially in the medical profession. Goodbye.